Hello everybody, Papa Blizzard here. I'm gonna work on a lawnmower today. I'm gonna to change a fuel line on a John Deere L130. Stay tuned for this episode. I have this John Deere that I've had for probably 20 or so years and uh, the other day I put some fuel in it and uh, I drove it a little bit and then all of a sudden I smelled gas and I looked down there was a big old puddle all my gas leaked out so had a um, had a fuel leak I guess after 20 years you can expect things like that so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna change it I got a, a kit and I'm going to change it and uh, see how that goes. Don't know how it's going to go, but we'll see. Alrighty. I don't think you can see up in there. Right here. Kind of hard to see this, but this hose runs up across the back side and hooks on the top here. Right up on the top there. There it is. Right there. All I did is I pulled this one loose and that'll run, it runs down through here and uh, this is a John Deere, John Deere L130, had this for about 20 years, you can see it's been outside a lot. But I use it to pull my trailer around and one time I filled it up with gas and I smelt gas and I looked underneath and there was a big old puddle. So what I'm doing now is trying to change this line and uh, just got these little holders here and then I'll pull this off and then we'll pull that hose back down through little little plastic doojibby here right here it was right behind this thing it's just a little one of those little push-in things and so I just squeezed it together and pushed it back through and uh, now I'm gonna pull this hose through over here and hopefully we can get it to come out like we want to Now, I just squeeze this together here, slit it that way, and I'll get it off of this fuel filter here. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this, this out so it doesn't get in the way when I pull it back through. one of these little plastic holders here there put that in there now that's loose I should be able to pull that hose there we'll use these again but we'll see Split in the middle, so that shouldn't be too bad. I have to walk here somewhere too. And the last one that's holding it is right underneath here, and uh, I just took a screwdriver and got in between it and pried it off. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get back in there, but we'll see. Anyways, that's my line. Now I gotta go get my other one and see, make sure it's the same size. Okay, this is a kit that I got from Amazon. And uh, it's got the fuel pump, fuel filter, a bunch of clamps. It's 
to shut off. But I knew that this hose wasn't going to be long enough. <laughs> it, it would it would work up here, but for down here, uh, uh so I bought this here. I'll leave a link for these down in the description. Try feeding this. I'm gonna try feeding this from the top. this way make sure we're going in the right direction here Pretty good, I think. A little hole there that's made for us to do this. There. Okay, now I gotta feed this hose up through that hole there. change all this other stuff. These are the clips. You just wrap it on the wrap it on the hose, and you stick it up in there. Those little grooves that goes into little holes. Here's what it looks like up in there. Hooks right on the top of that. I just stick it out through the front here. Make sure I have enough room. I'm using my little gas pump here. This thing is so neat. Stick that baby in there and let it roll. But I don't want to put too much in there before. I want to make sure I don't have no leaks. Now I want to put this over here. See what we got here.
Okay, here's what I did, and it works. But if you're not going to use the lawn blades, all you got to do is unplug it. If you unplug it and you're still using the lawn blades, um, when you go to engage the PTO, it won't engage. So if you're going to use the, the lawnmower to mow with, by engaging the PTO, you'll have to do something like this or some way to bypass the switch. But if you're like me and you're just using it for other stuff, all you gotta do is unplug it. Alrighty, looks like we got her. Don't see no leaks nowhere. No mix. No runs, no errors. A little bit more gas in there. Love this thing. Really nice. Don't have to. Don't have to hold that thing up all the time. Let it sit there and fill my tank up. More spilling and pouring all over the place. It's got an automatic kickoff when it's full. Works nice. And there you have it. Like I said, I'll leave links for all this stuff in the description in case you want to go check it out. Hardest part was putting the fuel line back up inside the frame rail. The little plastic things they stuck in those holes. And uh, getting them back in there, getting your hand up in there to push it back in there. That was kind of rough. Uh, especially the one up in the front underneath the steering wheel. But uh, I was able to take a screwdriver and just pry it out. And only one side, I pried one side out, and so I could stick the hose in there and then just kind of work my way and push the other side in. And so that worked out. And uh, so now I got it up and running, and it runs really good. So, alrighty. Didn't take too long, just a lot of crawling around on the gr ground. I would have brought it in my garage, but <laughs> the garage is so it's a mess right now, can't get nothing in here. So, so I'm gonna fix that here real shortly, but. I use this lawnmower for pulling around my trailer. I have a zero turn, but it, zero turns don't work real, real well for pulling trailers up hills and stuff. So I use this old John Deere to pull my trailer around for spraying and things like that. And so uh, it's been been a good workhorse all these years, and I figured I should keep it up just because uh, I'm so used to having it around. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, I went ahead now. A while back, I put some put some new tires on the back and. Uh, so I can get some traction and they worked really well and uh, so yeah alrighty well thanks for watching everyone may the good Lord take a liking to you Hallelujah. may he spread his blessings on your trail Hallelujah. may he be your guide anywhere you ride and be always your host when you're needing him most